number in this week's lottery is 44. Oh, I don't believe it. We lost again. Well, it would have helped if you had remembered to pick six numbers. Vanessa, got those old clothes that you wanted? Oh, great. Now, all I need is Mark's stuff. Mark, where's your stuff? What stuff? I told you, Eric's having a clothing drive at the clinic. I need some old clothes. Oh, come on, you got plenty of raggedy stuff. <laughs> all right, I'll leave some stuff in the floor of my room. Now, leave me alone. I'm depressed. Oh, mm. Mark, the lottery again, huh? Boy, you guys are crazy to waste your money. I mean, you're never gonna win. Hey. We just lost $9 million. Have a little respect. <laughs> well, you're better off not winning. Aunt Unetta is living proof that free money ruins people's lives. Wait a minute. Aunt Unetta won the lottery? How come she only sent me a pine cone for my birthday? <laughs> well, years ago, she won $25,000. And she thought that this system she had was the reason that she won. So she went out and she bought herself a Harley with a sidecar. <laughs> Then she met this 22-year-old sax player. Now, he stole her money and her Harley and her favorite glass eye. <laughs> and it left her a broken, one-eyed woman. Now, now, you said she had a system. What kind of system? No, Mark, I said she thought she had a system. There is no system. It's all just dumb luck. I, well, I have a right to know. That's my family history. Those are my roots. <laughs> Okay, fine, I'll tell you, but you're gonna be sorry that you asked because it's really quite stupid. Uh, first, you multiply the number of letters in your first name by three. Then you take the first two digits of your social security number. Then you use the last three numbers of your license plate. And the last number is your age. Now, you see? You see, only a fool would buy into that. You getting all this, Mark? <laughs> oh, yeah, same simple enough. Now, is that all? Oh, no, Mark, there's more. Uh -huh. Now, this is the most important part. Now, Aunt Unetta says you gotta spit on your fist and squawk like a turkey buzzard unless you're not winning nothing. <laughs> One more time. You got to give it up. We're gonna break it down. Mommy, mm -hmm. Bobby Lewis is giving up his afternoon paper route. Oh, good. Because I'm tired of climbing on the roof to get the paper. <laughs> and I was wondering, maybe I can take over his route. Then I can buy a Barbie's dream house. Mm, I don't know, sweetheart. Now, a paper route is a big responsibility, and you know how you are about those things. I can do it. I can do it, Mommy. Okay, but you gotta stick with it. And you can't expect me to do it for you, like I did last time. What? What happened last time? <laughs> you remember your goldfish, Mr. Peepers? <laughs> now, you promised to take care of him, and one day we found him floating on top of the bowl. Can't blame me. It was just his time. <laughs> Coop. Hey, now, Irvin, I'm gonna miss you. Hey, Coop, they can't expel me. They can't prove anything. I wasn't even there. I ain't the one. <laughs> what are you talking about, Irvin? I'm the one that's leaving, not you. What do you mean you ain't the one? What did you do? <laughs> well, nothing. You ain't gonna be here anyway. So where you going, Coop? <laughs> well, Vanessa and I went in on a lottery ticket, right? And I got a good vibe about this one. If I win, I'm out of here. Yeah. Coop, nobody ever wins the lottery. My grandmama been playing for about 10 years, and she ain't never won. Well, your grandmother doesn't have a system. I do. My grandmama got a system. She uses the birth dates of all her grandkids. That's why she calls us all losers. <laughs> <laughs> well, my Aunt Yunetta won $25,000 with her system. Mm-hmm. And if she can do it, I can do it. For real? Well, what's the system? Let me show you how it works. Check this out. Mm -hmm. All right. First, you multiply the number of letters in your first name by three. Mm -hmm. 
Now, Vanessa bought the ticket, and she has seven letters in her name, so that would give you 21, right? 21. All right. Then you add the first two digits of your social security number. All right. Then you take the last three numbers from your license plates and finally your age. Hey, all right, so, slow down, too, slow down. Uh-huh. Sorry, that's your license plates. <laughs> all right, there you go, there you go. All right. OK, now, let me tell you, first you mark. Wait a minute. Now, you guys can't steal my system. <laughs> my system. Get your own system. <laughs> Hey, hey, you know, I like the simplicity of a ranch-style house. But look at that. Colonial says, hello, I'm filthy, stinky rich. Look at that. Turn on the TV, you guys, it's time. Hey, where you been? Girl, I thought I was going to spend all the money myself. And welcome to this evening's lottery. I had to take all those old clothes down to the clinic. And then I went to the jewelry store. I was looking at those diamond watches when I lost all track of time. By the way, if I win, I'm moving out. By the way, if I win, I'm kicking you out. Mark, they're about to start. Where's the ticket? Don't worry. I got the ticket in the safe place. But I have the numbers written down right here. Okay. And our first number of the evening is 11. Oh, 11? Oh. Mark, we got 11? All right, we chill out. 11. Chill out. It's just only one number. Just chill. Next, the number nine. Nine? It's OK. It's OK. Oh! Come on, you guys. You got two numbers. Big deal. Now we have the number seven. Oh, seven. Seven, seven, seven. seven. Come on, seven. Look baby. at you. Now you guys getting all excited, and you're going to feel really stupid when it's all over and you haven't won. Next is the number four. Four. Oh, my God. And now we have the number 21. Oh, Mark. 21, Mark, come on. Mark, that's five out of six. I know. We're going to do this. This is going to happen. Yes, all we need one is 27. We need. Oh, oh my lord, all you time. need is number 27? Come on, come on, 27. And our last number is 27. What you mean, we? Oh, but come on, I'm the reason that you won. I mean, I gave you the system. Remember, we had to hold you down and drag it out you. <laughs> but Mark, I still gave it to you, didn't I? Didn't I? Yeah, and then what did she call us, Mark? A foolish? Mm -hmm. No, 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 it was stupid. Mm -hmm. That was it, yeah. yeah uh -huh. And now we got 12 million stupid dollars. <laughs> and you got none. But you're still smart. <laughs> <laughs> money changes people, uh -huh. huh? Yes, and we wouldn't want to change you. <laughs> that's cold, that's cold. We got to give her something. Maybe a little parting gift. All right, come here, girl. We give you something. Come on. We, uh, what about a car? All right? Because, yeah. you know, Steve is trying to unload his pinto. <laughs> Do we win? Do we win? <laughs> we won. <laughs> yes! Now, now, sweetheart, don't get too excited. They're acting like they don't know us, greedy little money grubbers. Mm. Well, come on, you know we're gonna take care of the baby. I'm gonna get you that Barbie dream house, all right? And I'll put some money away for your college education. All right, I ain't quit! Oh, no, you don't, sweetheart. You are not quitting. Mark, go upstairs and get me that ticket. I just want to kiss it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hope you don't kiss it like you kiss Eric. I don't want it all soggy and spit coming all out. to do this paper route thing, Mom? Yes, sweetheart, you do. Now, we're still working people, and working people live up to their responsibilities. Now, come on, sweetie, I'll help you. If you wait till tomorrow, you can toss one of those papers through the sunroof of my new Beamer. <laughs> I said, come on, let's go. <laughs> hey, Mark, hurry up. I think I can get to the jewelry store before it closes. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm excited, too. <laughs> Oh, oh. Where, 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 where's my Howard University sweatshirt? Who cares, Mark? Buy a new one. Buy the whole university. No, 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 no. You don't understand. The lottery ticket was in the pocket of the sweatshirt. Ah! You did something. You did something. What you do with my sweatshirt, huh? Um. Um, no arms. Take the arm out. What you do um, with my sweatshirt, huh? Don't be mad. I ain't gonna be what you do with it. 
but I might have kind of sort of given it to Eric's charity drive. Oh. 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 been having a bad dream. <laughs> I dreamt that we lost a $12 million ticket. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> we did. Huh? Well, huh? You see, I wanted to show Eric how unselfish I could be, so I did a very unselfish thing. I, I gave away your stuff. You gave away $12 million? You went to my room and you gave away my twelve million dollar sweatshirt. Oh, oh no! Oh. I can't breathe. Oh. 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 Are you okay? Mark. Mark. Oh. 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 Listen, Mark. I, I, it was just hanging on the back of your chair. I thought it was for the clothing oh. drive. Oh. I didn't know, Mark. I didn't. Oh. Wait a second. Oh. Who would put a lottery ticket in an old sweatshirt? In a <laughs> what? Oh, call the clinic and still get out of the sweatshirt. Oh. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Hello? Hi. Um, I'm calling about your clothing drive. Yes, you see, I donated a few items today. Oh, I'm glad to hear it's going so well. Would you ask about the sweatshirt? Well, what, what, one of the items that I donated was an old sweatshirt from Howard University. Oh, Lord, please forgive me everything that I've ever done in my life. I promise to give all, some of my money to charity. They remember it. The Lord give it. <laughs> they remember it because they don't have it anymore. Oh, my, the Lord take it away. <laughs> you threw it away? They threw it away. Hello? Hey, how you doing? Excuse my roommate. She just recently lost her mind and her place to stay. Um, look, um, I was wondering, where could I find my sweatshirt? Yeah, uh-huh, okay. Where is this dumpster? Great. Uh, what time do they normally pick up your garbage? All right. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Oh, God. We have until 7 o'clock. Oh. We give us ten minutes! <laughs> <laughs> What, huh? The garbage police? No, get your narrow butt in here. Come on. Mark, I wouldn't do well in there. It smells like garbage. Well, let, let, let me explain something to you, Miss Goodwill. If I get in this box and I find a ticket, I'm keeping all the money. Right now, this hell has our $12 million, so start digging. But there's wet things in here. Would you quit your whining and start digging? Look for the ticket. It's your fault that we're in this mess. No, it's not. It's Eric's fault. Now that give, give, give. See where it gets you? Hey, I think you got some kind of bug in your hair. Ah, ah, get out of my hair. Get out. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, it's just a jalapeno pepper from the Mexican restaurant next door. I'm standing in refried beans. Oh my God! What? What? You found the sweatshirt? You found it? No, my slippers. <laughs> what you do? Ransack my whole room? <laughs> Someone's coming. It's just a little 
Mexican food. Gracias. That's it, Mark. I am out of here. Remember, remember the deal. Well, if I, I find it, I keep it. I don't care, Mark. I have salsa dripping down the back of my neck. Look, we're talking diamonds, diamonds, diamonds. Diamonds? Uh-huh. I'm talking about big glittery diamonds on every finger. Elizabeth Taylor. Big diamonds, diamonds, diamonds. I like diamonds. You like diamonds? You can have them. Big ones. Big ones. We could keep looking a little longer. There you go, baby. There you go. Just look, baby. Just look. Just love Mexican food. Fuck! I see it! What? Oh, yes! This is it! This is it! Where's the bucket? Okay, this is the sweatshirt. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Wait a minute. Vanessa here gave away my sweatshirt with the $12 million lottery ticket in it. <laughs> then we found it in a dumpster. And then I, I, I don't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> Let me tell you. We had the ticket until Butterfingers here dropped it when we got tossed in the dump truck. I had guacamole on my hands, thank you. <laughs> Then we got hauled off to the city dump where we spent three hours looking for the ticket. Do you have any idea what the city dump is like? I don't think they ever clean that place. <laughs> so you guys never found the ticket? I mean, you lost $12 million? Yeah. They made us stop looking for it when they started to burn the trash. <laughs> I watched my $12 million go up in flames. <laughs> This really stinks. Tell me about it, Nikki. <clears throat> no, I mean, you guys really stink. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what now? Mark, it's the lottery ticket on your show. Don't move. Oh, my God. And I ain't got nothing. Look at this. All right, look at this lottery ticket now. Beautiful numbers. They're here, baby. Four. Four. Seven. Seven. Nine. Nine. Eleven. Eleven. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. And twenty-five. <laughs> that, that number is supposed to be twenty-seven, right? That's your age. Twenty-seven. It's supposed to be twenty-seven. How come it says twenty-five? Uh oh. Uh oh. What you mean by uh oh? Sometimes I lie about my age. Huh? You lied about your age? You lied about your age, but we had a system. What about the system? You have to tell the system your real age. Well, the guy at 7 Eleven was kind of cute, so. Because you lied to a pimple faced teenager at 7 Eleven. Oh, oh. Come here. See, honey, money changes you, even when you don't get it.
won't fit. Let's try that. In the back. Okay. There we go. You look like my pet turtle. <laughs> Just before my dad ran over it. Just help me up, Tyler. 